This is Laura GB and this is day seven of 12 days of paginated reports. In today's video, we're going to look at adding grouping and totals to our report. Here we are in our deliveries report from yesterday. We want to add in grouping based on date and add a total for each day and a grand total for our whole report. So let's switch over to Report Builder. So here in Report Builder, we need to add some grouping and totals. So we go to the view ribbon and we turn on the grouping. And this creates two panes as we saw yesterday down the bottom here. And I'm just going to drag that up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in grouping. So I right click on the details and there's add group and I'm going to add a parent group. And I want to group by the date. And underneath, I'm going to tick add a group header. And we can click OK. So there we are. We've got a group extra column been added. And down in our row groups, we can see we've got a date row group. If we just go and have a quick look at the preview, there you are, you can see they've been grouped together by date. Now on the left hand side, that date is badly formatted, in my opinion. Um, and we've got the date column there twice. So we don't need that. So let's go back and fix those. So we don't need that extra date column. So highlight that column, right click and delete columns. And then right click on that placeholder for the date, placeholder properties. And I'm going to go to number. Now it doesn't have a date format I like. So I'm going to go to custom and put in two D's hyphen capital M's for the month and lowercase y's for the year. So put all of that in and then click OK. So now if we have a quick look at our preview, there we are grouped by month, but we don't have any totals yet. So if we go back into design, if I click on to the details row and do a right click and click add total after, there you are, it creates a subtotal. So, and let's highlight that row for a second and make it bold. And now let's click run. And there you are, we get a total. Now let's put a total in the quantity column and in the total column. It'll do that to any numeric column you've got. We now want to add a total for our whole report. So I'm going to click on to the date and do a right click on there and add total and put that as after. And there we are, we get a row at the bottom there. I'm just going to highlight that and make that bold as well. And let's click run. And if we go to the last page of our report, there you are, you get a total at the bottom there, which shows you the full expense of the 12 days of Christmas. Let's go back to our first page and see one issue you might want to get rid of, which is down the bottom there, we've got the 30th of December. And if I click next, the other half of it is on the second page. Sometimes you want to keep a group together. So if we go to design view, and we're going to do two steps. One is to click on the date in the row groups and the keep together says false there. So we're going to set that to be true. And then we're also going to do the same on details just to make sure one of those rows don't get split as well. We're going to put that to true as well. And then let's go and have a look at preview. And there we are. The 29th of December is the last one on this page. And if we go to the next page, we can see the 30th is there. And 
the first finishes with a total and as you go through the report you can see each day is on its own page. So let's publish this up to the service and take a look. And there we go we've got our report up with grouping and totals and if we go to our page view we can see that it finishes with a total on each page in turn. So in this video we have looked at adding grouping to our report, adding subtotals and a report total and we've also looked at preventing groups splitting across pages. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.